five places. You can do this lying down if you want to. It's a lot easier to get breast tissue out of the way if the person's laying down, obviously. Um, if the person is capable of doing so, um, if the, um, and they have large breasts, you can ask them to move their breast out of the way. Um, otherwise, you, just, you can use the back of your hand um, to lift it out of the way. Um, so when you do this portion in our checkoff, we usually ask you to say, where are you listening? All right, so we do the aortic, the pulmonic, okay? The uh, herbs, which is right in the middle, the tricuspid, and then the mitral, which is out in the, it's under, basically under the nipple in the fifth intercostal space. So I know you've learned different ways of remembering that. I use all patient takes notes, but it kind of ignores herbs. Um, but basically what happens is that when you listen to the sounds up here, we have an S1 and S2 sound. This is S2 that's loudest. This is S1 that's loudest. And in the middle, they're the same. Okay. There's some fun ways, if you're asking, to tell which is which. But <laughs> it's okay. not something you have to know. Um, okay, so you'll listen to all of those. Technically, you should turn your stethoscope around and onto the bell at that point and go the other way, but you don't have to. Those people who don't have a bell on their stethoscope, light pressure is considered to be a bell. Firm pressure is a diaphragm. If you use your bell firmly, it becomes a diaphragm. And bells we usually use for low sounds, murmurs, um, which are kind of a whoosh, 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 turbulence in the, of the blood flow. Um, you, you kind of hear it when you're doing a blood pressure, you know, because you, you're partially blocking that blood vessel, so you hear that whoosh, whoosh. Well, when you hear that in the heart, it means that the blood isn't going through the valve properly, and it's called a murmur. When it happens outer, outside of the heart area, so maybe you've got an abdominal aneurysm, you've got a carotid um, blockage somewhere, you're going to hear it, it's a buoy. If you have a patient who has an AV fistula, so rerouting of the blood for a dialysis, um, get a chance to hear, listen to that. It better have a brewery or it's not working. All right. So if you get a patient in the hospital, definitely listen. It's, it's the first place I ever heard that sound. Okay. So abdomen.